Tom, uh, we've been friends a long time, buddy, but uh, where have you got me? Man, we're on Rayburn Lake. Well, yeah, but Rayburn's big, man. Well, where? We, we're fishing today out of Jackson Hill Marina. Well, see, I nodded off on the way over here, so I don't have a clue where we're at. So I hope you remember the way back <laughs> home, huh? Yeah, we can find our way back. Well, what are we going to do today? Uh, we're going to do a little float fishing for catfish. Float fishing no, is... No. What, there's a difference between float... So what is float fishing? Well, it's just a little styrofoam floater you get and put, a, put a single line on it with a sinker yeah. and hook and put your bait on it and pitch it out. Okay. In other yeah. words, that's a good old... Good like, old boy way of catching catfish. Yeah, it's kind of like trot line, except, except you know, on trot lines, you got a, a long line put out with maybe 15, 20 hooks on it. Right. This way, you just got the one hook on each one of them. You see it moving around, you go run that one, rebait it, throw it out, and you don't, you don't have to deal with that whole line. What, what'd you say? <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. What'd you say? What'd y'all say? What, what's, what's no, 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 go ahead and spit it out. How many fish we gonna catch yeah. today? Oh, really? Oh, yeah? yeah? Uh, y'all yeah. want a lake talk to smack, I see, okay. What, what do you want to do? We're going to outfish y'all today. That's oh, all you want to put some money on it? No, we can't gamble. <laughs> yeah, they know they're going to get beat, that's one. That's what it is. You buy our I, dinner today. I'll tell, tell you what, competition, dinner, right. competition. You sure I like that? competition. Bring it on, big boy. Y'all talk all that smack. We're going to let it smack us down on you. <laughs> that's right. the bottom line. Who, whoever catches the most fish has to buy the dinner today. That sounds, that sounds good to me. Well, it's all on, right, it's on, buddy. It's on, baby. That's a good deal. <laughs> The seniors versus the juniors. Today's episode, float fishing for catfish on Rayburn. Who's gonna win it? You better get back to us and watch, because I guarantee you, me, <laughs> this guy here, we gonna teach him juniors how to do it. They couldn't catch a fish if they had in a bucket anyhow. There you go. We'll find out. Thank <laughs> you. By the way that you walked on I can tell that you're from out of town So I came to make it clear We don't act like that around here Yeah, we open doors for ladies Say yes, ma'am, and thank you, baby When we go out for the evening We show them the royal treatment Roll out that old red carpet Hold umbrellas when it rains But you wouldn't understand that, son Us, it's a cowboy thing Yeah, but I tell you what, huh? I tell you what, old versus new. Old you know, versus new. I so, tell you what, some the snot nose. Sometimes, sometimes the older older folks gets the worm. Jason, you see how they try to get us a fish over there? We want to get a competition going, and then they change the fishing hole. Yeah. How they manage that one? Right? I don't know, but they still don't know what they look like they're doing. They be cheating, boy. Well, I'll tell you one thing, don't think. If we don't, we're going we're gonna to find us a store or something if I slip off to <laughs> And go buy some. Yeah, there you go. There you go. We'll slip off. We'll keep them occupied, and we'll slip off to a store and get us some. You know <laughs> I heard that. It's fixing to get hot. I can tell you that. They ain't going to beat us. That's all there is to it. we got to steal something. That's you right. occupy them with a hamburger or something, I'll over it. That's right. Grab one. Huh? we got to win, buddy. we got to win. Oh, we're going to beat them. We'll never lose. We won't quit till we do. We hide some fish in the rod box and don't let them know we've got them. Yeah. Tell them we only got we'll, just, we'll just put one in the cooler and yeah. put the rest in the live well when they think they're victorious. Then we'll break it down. Break it out. Break it out. We'll never live it down. <laughs> we will never live it down if them little goobers beat us. I figure about dinner time we'll be able to pack it in. They had to stay there all day just to catch, try to catch up to them. Yeah. What we got here is just a just a simple piece of styrofoam, one of the noodles that you can buy at any at any you know Walmart or Target or anything like that. And all you do is just put your three foot piece of string, just go up six eight inches with a weight and just a just a regular hook. And what you do is you, you just you just take a, a piece of cut bait, just thread him on just like that. Get you you know we're right now we're in two foot of water so. All you do is you just, you just throw it out there and just wait. That's all you can do. Just try to try to find them. What are we in right now? About? We're in about eight foot of water right now. Oh, we we want to we're gonna try to stay in about uh, two? Not, uh, not over four foot of water. You okay, know? two to three foot? Yeah, two to, two to three foot's the best, but, but okay. in four foot we'll, be, we'll probably do all right today. When you're doing this noodle fishing, you, you want the wind to be blowing a little bit. Cause it helps, you know, keep your bait moving, and, and that that seems to help a lot when your bait moves. The fish seem to get more active. Yeah, you know, what we're going to do on these long ones, you know, because I've got them made up for for several different lengths, you know, for the depths of water. Okay. Well, what we're going to do is just take them and roll them up. Okay. Until you get about what you want there, which is about like that right there, 
And the half hitch, you just take your string like it, twist it just like that. Yeah. Make a loop and stick it in there. Drop it down. Do it one more time. Same way. Stick it in there and drop it down. He no hooks your daddy gave us. Ain't ain't worth very much. I gave him some new hooks the other day. Put on his uh put on his noodle. He he was whining, talking about he needed some hooks, and then then look. Gave us these old rusted up ones to try to catch the fish, you know. He'll do that cheating, he don't mind cheating. Yeah, we're using uh, just just a pond perch. You know, you can, you can use perch. perch. You can use uh, shad. You can use uh, shrimp, uh, crawfish, anything yeah. like that. You know that, that catfish bite good. Right, right. Uh, but today we're gonna be we're gonna be fishing with perch. There's a certain way you got to do this. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take that hook like that and you're gonna stick it right there in his eye. Mm -hmm. Come down his body. Come down his body and then back out just like that. Well, you make it look easy. Yeah, it's not hard to do. After you, <laughs> after you do it a time or two, uh, it, you know you'll, you'll get you'll get the hang of it. We just got some perch, some of the big perch, and cut them up like this, and put them on them hooks. They just seem to do do a little better that way. We we've had good luck with cut bait up here on Rayburn and preparing the dinner for the dinner. A perch like this, you know, you uh, you can just take it like that and take your knife and cut him half in two. Okay. You got two baits. Okay. Now, I got you. Now. Uh, when, you, when you're putting that on, right. if you'll turn that perch to where his back's pointing to the end of your fingers, yeah. see, because that hook's got a, a little kink in it right there. Okay. Uh, it's called offset, and you stick that in his eye like that, and it runs right there, and it's, okay. it's real easy to do. Just okay. make sure you lay the back of the perch toward the tips of your fingers, and it's, and it's real right. easy to do that way. Okay. Tom, what is your daddy trying to do with it? I mean, he's gonna get, let us borrow some noodles, but we ain't got no barbs or Nothing. No. Nothing. Not a point. Yeah. Not nothing. They trying to win, boy. I done nah. told you one time he'd cheat. Yeah, he's a cheater. He don't mind cheating. Yep. Whatever it takes for him to win. Yeah. Which I kind of feel sorry for him a little bit because he got old rusty over there and <laughs> this fishing stuff just blows his mind. This one looks like it's a little bit more shallow. It may be. I mean, yeah. any, anything from like that to about four foot long will okay. be good though. Uh, typically, you know, you want them, you want them two foot to three foot, but okay. Oh. Uh, the wind's going to help us a lot today, too, because the wind's going to be blowing these floaters kind of up closer to the bank. Yeah, it'll drift it toward the yeah, bank. Yeah, and, huh? and uh, you can go ahead and drop that one right there. They're trying to countryfy me. That's what they're trying to do. And thank God about that, because I love being a country boy. I tell you what, you're going to have to tighten up, or them boys are going to beat us. Well, you know, I'm giving them a head start, man. What's <laughs> Is that what you're doing? Yeah. <laughs> I hear you. you got to believe them, man. <laughs> well, you don't know what you're doing out there. Fat boy fishing. Here we go, bub. It's getting rid of having. <laughs>